A car stops to let people cross the highway, and a driver passes on the right. People walking on the edge of the highway to get by parked cars. Drivers turning left across the highway despite signs to get a parking spot. First time park visitors today say the parking and pedestrian problems are obvious. It's crazy here. I mean, you can see there's vehicles everywhere. I mean, it could definitely use a, a proper crosswalk or something. It's a little bit hairy. You definitely got to be careful. There's a sign saying no left turns. Um, but people are doing a little bit of left turns here. Yeah, there's no like even like crosswalk lines or anything. What's that? So if they could make it safer, for sure it'd be like a lot better. Since 2015, the Alberni Valley Chamber of Commerce has been calling for safety upgrades for the provincial park. The chamber's CEO says the situation has only grown worse with too few parking spots on both sides of the highway. Oh, it's absolutely an accident waiting to happen. It will happen. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that one out. Um, you know, somebody's going to make a mistake. Bill Collette says the pandemic was a missed opportunity for safety upgrades. What's What I find frustrating is that the place has been closed for a year and a half and nothing was done. Why not? The B.C. Liberals' transportation critic and party leader candidate agrees there should have been safety improvements before now. Well, there's just been way too much delay by this government. They sent it out to study in 2018. It's over three years later. And we know that uh, by their own admission, Ministry of Transportation has said that it was that snap election that's caused further delays. So we know this is a huge safety issue. In a statement, BC's Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure says it hasn't yet finalized safety improvements as it's still in the engagement process and it expects the next public engagement to take place soon.